Radio check. Crystal clear, Dr. Lynch. Okay, making my way to the D-deck reception area now. I can access this through the forward grand staircase, right? Yeah, marking it on your map now. You'll need to park off to the side of the staircase this time, leaving the opening clear. On that night of April the 14th, we all, that is, the captain and officers, knew perfectly well that we were just about entering the region where ice might be sighted at that particular time of the year, and had taken all necessary precautions. We were steaming that night at a good 22 knots. At 10 o'clock, I was relieved as officer of watch by Murdoch, W.M. Murdoch. Of course, he knew nothing of the death trap lying ahead of us any more than I did. And so, five bells, six bells, and seven bells went by. But barely ten minutes had passed after the sound of the last bell, when there were three sharp clangs on the crow's nest bell, followed by a cry from the lookout cage, ice right ahead, sir. Murdoch evidently saw the mass of ice practically at the same time as the lookout men, and shouted, hard starboard, full speed astern. Her bow swung a bit, but not enough, and she struck. She took the blow along her starboard side, masses of ice actually falling on the fore deck. One of the early reminded Davids the upright position. What's with the patches of damage on the deck? I thought it would all deteriorate at the same rate. Those sections are deteriorating faster because of visitors to the site. Some people land their subs on deck, making it deteriorate faster. Isn't conservation of this site meant to be important? It is. It just took a while for people to realize what was causing the damage. No one lands on the wreck now. Wait, aren't the subs supposed to be neutrally I'm at the staircase, descending to D-deck now. Hello all, subscribe if you haven't already. And push notification bell to be notified every time up below on YouTube. Where the grand staircase would have once been stood. This time I'm just going to let you guys enjoy the tour of the wreck of the RMS Titanic as best as possible. I love this game. Hang on a moment, I'm just going to clean lenses. Sorry, I just had to clean the lenses a bit, they're a bit mucky. I was playing this game yesterday, if you haven't seen the gameplay video I did yesterday on this, I highly recommend it. And this time I'm going to venture on to into these few rooms, because I didn't venture onto these rooms before. I'm listening to Titanic related music now. Oh, wow. I'm going to go into this room. When you're playing this game, what's your favourite room to go into? For me, it's got to be the Isid Ido and Isidore suite. Oh, 
Uh, here we go. Oh, wow. Which cabin's your favourite room to go in? Which cabin's your favourite to go into? Comment down below. Oh, wow. One of the many windows as well. Still intact. Well, it's one of the main windows still intact. One of the... One of the men, one of the promenade deck. See if I can go to the private promenade on this one as well. It is mainly, I think it's in, it's in the wreck still. I'm just going to go and, go and see it. Where the furniture would have once stood. I don't know. There was two private promenades. There's the one on the one side, then there was the one on the other. Once I've checked out these rooms down this hallway, I'll go and do that, and I'll come out through that in the other side. There we go. A nice room, nice bathroom. There's mainly debris in the bath tub, and then and beside it, the same with the other room. Same with the room, uh, bath, bath, bathroom ahead. What's special about that, that whole hole on the walls is you can get into that bathroom because you're going to have a good look of the inside. It's alright. Oh, wow. Hang on a moment. It's alright, my lens has got a bit dirty. Very dirty, so I've had to clean them. Oh, wow. These lights are broken. Pair of shoes. Jacket. And, um, there's a series as well I highly recommend you can get on DVD. Um, I'm trying to think what it was called. There's a program on TV some time ago, but I don't know. I know you can get it on DVD, and it's called I'll Try to See If I Can Find It For You All. Depending on where my frickin' phone is. Ah, there it is. My phone's taken a while to malfunction. No, not Facebook. It's alright, you lot, don't worry about it. I'm getting a new phone this year anyway, because this one's a bit funny. Taking a while to malfunction. I'm 
No, I don't want collection, you bell end. Oh, it's gone to that anyway. Oh, fucking hell. It's alright, my phone's being alright. Idiot. So I'm just trying to find what that series was called so I can help you guys know where to buy it. You can buy it, I'm just trying to think what it was called. No, I didn't want the book, you idiot. It's alright. It's alright, you, you lot. I'm trying to put, put something and cl ended up clicking on some. Try to click on the search bar. It's just my phone's being an idiot. Won't even let me. Thank you. If you put in on eBay, Titanic the Mission DVD, basically it's four engineers bringing like bit. What? Well, It's, there's one on, there's, uh, just try to see if there's anywhere else, I know there's, it's basically a series of, hang on, my phone's just being a right idiot, freaking ain't my, this phone the better of times, uh, oh god, this phone's a nightmare. Oh, for feck's sake. Bas Hang on, I'll say it in a minute. Oh, Fuck off. Basically, it's a series of four engineers. If I can try and find a description of it. I will read it to you. Titanic is one of the greatest maritime legends in history. When she sailed in April 1912, she was the largest, heaviest, most expensive, most luxurious man-made moving object. So, cat's knocking stuff over, in case you're wondering what that racket was. On the... I'm reading the... I'm carrying on with reading it. The, what this series I'm telling you about. On the planet, this is... Fascinating five-part series brings the drama, technology... Uh, techno... Tech... Tech... No logical, I mean. Be aware, I have a bit of... Trouble with spelling a bit. Speech, that is. Um, accomplishment, accomplishment, and social history of uh, of the Edwardian. Edwardian, if I said it right. Well, you skip that. Industry back to life. Titanic mission sees a team of modern engineers. Well, it says the names as well. Use a hundred year old methods to recreate iconic sections of the ship, including the mighty hull, which you can go and see to this day. It, which was, you can go and see it if you know where it is. The luxurious interior, the, in, the 
16 ton anchor. That's another thing as well you can go and see. And and in and in doing so they explored the in industries workers who built the ship. And honestly it's worth it. Honestly, the um Oh hang on, just trying to turn me so carry on with the video so that's that so I thought I'd tell you about the series it's worth it I highly recommend it for you guys there we go so I hope you guys enjoy that there we go I'm just gonna look through the entire ship Oh well, I'm just having a good look. Sorry, you lot, be aware of that. Right. Uh, there we go. Uh, oh, feck it out. Sorry, you lot, I just farted. It's nothing normal. So hang on, carry on the video. Just ignore me. Oh uh, well, nice room as well. I, that that bed's in pieces, one well, two pieces. It's just mainly bits of broken furniture. Hey, something I felt some something tickling me in the bloody back. I put a shiver down my frickin' spine. There we go. Oh wow. One of the other bath areas if you want to go to toilets where you will come. Oh pet and a shoe? Of the passenger or crew member. It could be anyone. You see, it's a game worth playing. I'll go down them two rooms in a moment. Here we go. So I had trouble getting the room there. So I got flies landing on me, which is freaking normal. My mum and dad are awake. That's what tears crying over. The whip it that is. For a lot of you that are wondering what that crying is, she can hear my mum and dad. She knows my mum and dad are awake, and that's what she's crying over. So, there's no need to worry. She can't exactly go up yet, because Mum will be up down soon. Sorry, I've got an itchy head. Sorry, I've got an itchy head. Itchy... My Thank you. 
Nothing in that room. Oh, there's something in that room. Function. Go in that room in a moment. This room first. Oh, wow. So I got Hess. Got Rick and Hess stuck in my eye. Getting him. Blocking me eye vision. It's alright. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, now I'm going to do that thing I promised you guys I would do. Go see the promenade, the private promenade. See if there's anything that remains of it. Oof! Frickin' I nearly jumped then. No, you're not. Slightly like I had jumped for a moment. Made me jump. Ah, uh, we go. Oh, no. That's just a private promenade, I think. Or is it? No, it isn't. But I will go and see it at some stage. Oh! Uh, I think this is it. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, it's yeah, I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. It's the private promenade. I guarantee you 100% he was used during the sinking. I'm not 100% sure though. Oh, hell almighty. That is pretty damn high. If you want to try this in VR, I highly recommend it. This is the... Uh, I'm going to go back through the way again. I said I would come check out this part of the area for you guys. I literally said I would. I promised as well. Oh, well. Oh. Oh, nearly fell over. I'm gonna just go on with the mission now. Um, I have checked... If you want to check out yesterday's video, I... Actually, hang on. Shall I check out the rooms first and then do the mission? No, I'm thinking about I'll just going to look at the rooms. I wasn't going to, but I thought I may as well. That's all right. I'm just going to put some different other music on, Titanic related. Uh, here we go. Hang on a moment. I know I said I wouldn't, but thought I may as well. Oh, 
wardrobe, sink and mirror, taps as well. Remains of the sofa and there's a vase and a door. Uh, the same thing with this room. Remains of the bed, wardrobe, uh, sink and mirror, sofa, and everything else I've mentioned. Sorry, it's just taken a while to get down that jacket right in the room hang on sorry I just belt I had a pause for a minute just to oh hang on that's poppy part of a jacket no it's a jacket just wondering what that was from that bit was highly recommend this game drawers just come out of that room. now I'm going to go into this room see if there's any f oh hey papa I'll go and check out this room for you all. B. Oh, it's actually pretty nice. Right, hang on. Nice room. Jacket from a crew or a passenger vase and other and um, everything else Debris, that's it. Just had to think what to say then. Vars, jacket. There will be jackets in certain areas as well in the wreck of the Titanic in this game. A uh, jug and a hook. If you weren't using the jug, you'd put the put it on that hook oh my go I'll go down that way now. chug and a hook and other rooms as well here we go
Tia, don't push it. Tia! Hang on, I'll be with you in a moment. It's so, alright, Tia was going to open the door, so I had to sort it out. If there's a sock in the door and it's low enough, she'll just grab the sock, yank it, opens the door and she'll go upstairs. Which is why I had to pause a moment and go and put the sock high enough so she couldn't grab it and yank it. Cause that it's alright you lot, it's normal. Now she's crying. She's not exactly allowed up because it, she does my mum's head in at times. Thought I'd put that out there. You can hear her quite, quite, I don't know if you'll be able to hear her, but you can hear her in the background crying. So that is Tia the Whippet. This music I'm listening to right now, I highly recommend you checking it out. The person that wrote the music is called Ian Whitcomb. If you put, what was the album called? Ian Whitcomb is, is the person that wrote the music for it. It's on Spotify. It's a Bible album and all. And I'm not pulling your leg either. It's a Bible album. I've got it. I played it on the way to the exhibition last month I went to. Which I've already done a video about. If you haven't already, go and check it out. It's got about 70... Some... 70... Something views now. I lose count. It was over 70, I know that. A uh, pair of shoes that a crew or member of the crew or passengers would have worn. You can hear it not right now. I'll pause it a moment so you can hear it. You can hear it just about clearly at that point. Oh, it's normal, you lot. She's just being a big sissy. Nothing to worry about. She just doesn't. Um, she's just being a blimmin' m monkey. I'm uh, just gonna see if I can find Bruce Ismay's room, which if you know where it is, highly recommend you checking it out. That's more than likely the next step. So I'm just checking out, see where his room is. No, that's the next next deck. That's the next deck, or maybe D deck, one of the both. It's not going to be a big video. Yesterday's video was about 41 minutes long. 41, one of the both. It was this deck, I think. Oh yeah, it was this deck. I know how to get... I know how to find it. If you want to find it, you go... Uh, I need to jump. You go down this little... This bit down here. You come to the room on your left. You go into it. And you see this, this room here. And then through the through the through it you can this is Bruce this is my suite this is how you can find it in the wreck obviously you you can get into it if you can get into into it how he you say well, I'm about to show you that, that's how you can get into it but oh that's the only you can tell it's his room because the fireplace gives it away this is it is ama it's amazing. The doorway's blocked, as you can see. You can get into it through the way I just showed you. You can glitch into it, so... so this game's available on PS4, which is what I'm playing it on. Uh, I'm just gonna... I've already been down that way. If you want to go down that... If you want to check out yesterday's video, which went down that way, I highly recommend it. There uh, we go, I'm just gonna... 
if I can so that is loads of flies about horse flies horse flies of buggers right, right. I'm at D-Day great the area in front of you is the reception area Head forward and you'll find a grand piano on the port side. Is that what I'm photographing? Yeah, an American historian is writing about the Titanic's musicians and wants a clear photograph of the piano. I can't believe this survived. It's beautiful, isn't it? Like something out of a film. I think this is the first room Henderson would have seen when he boarded. Did you want to take a minute to look around? Yeah, can I? Of course. That's the, the next task is the recovery in the Turkish bath. So head down the grand staircase when you're finished here. That's where the passion first class would have boarded. So you'd go through these doors and through these inner doors and this is the view you would get. The grand staircase which would be ahead and then if you look to your right you see the the dining saloon which is your dead ahead well what remains of it there's a reason why i'm saying that because during the breakup the it's the yeah you, you can get into it as far as it will allow you because of because obviously it's it's the rest of the the rest of it the dining saloon got pretty much because okay, so there's someone else, there's someone else out that will help me out, I really highly re I'll have to explain, I'll try my best to explain it. Um, the dining saloon is straight ahead, is that the point? There's a, in the dining saloon, is that a point where the ship's split in half? Um. Alright, I'm ready. The Turkish bats are at the bottom so of the staircase. So, is that right? the point where the ship's yep, split in half? straight down and off to starboard. So I'm just going to just really have a good look at the rooms. Well, I've had a good look at the rooms and everything. I'm in the bats now. I can see the oral V here pinned under a pipe. You'll need to get into position Done. and attach the flip. Okay. Hey, it's working. It's working. Last the pipe is step lifting. Is to yeah. Great. When the pipe's completely lifted, you can attach your hook and drag the ROV out of here. Right. Ah, I think the motor failed. My arm's not responding. Is everything else okay? Is the line attached? Yeah, yeah. everything else is operational, and the line's still connected. Okay, we'll fix the arm when you're back on the surface, but for now, you'll have to be extra cautious. You need to drag the ROV back out to the ground staircase. The extra weight is going to make your controls tricky. No, you're not. Am I towing this thing all the way back to the sub? No, we've an easier way to get out of the wreck. Let me know when you're at the staircase. Just take it nice and slow. I'm at the staircase again. The next step is to attach a tracker to the ROV. There is one in your compartment. Okay, now what? Now remove the hook and let it float straight up to the surface. The other diving team will be able to track it and pick it up. Well, there she goes. Should I follow it up? No, we aren't finished down here yet. Yeah, just waiting for this What's left to do? We need to collect the gear we left in the Turkish bath. The flotation gear? Yeah, it's too expensive to leave down here. You need to deflate the balloon and remove it from the pipe. All done. I'm heading back up. Great. See you soon. I'll get the lab ready to repair Predator.